Largest South American Corporate Farm Groups by Dax Cook Farmers in South America are becoming increasingly organized into large commercial groups. These groups specialize in different areas of production, allowing them to become more efficient and compete in the global market. In this blog post, we will take a look at some of the largest South American corporate farm groups, as listed down by Dax Cook. We'll explore their business models, how they operate, and their impact on the region's agriculture industry. So without further ado, let's get started. Dax Cook's Top Picks for the Biggest South American Corporate Farms El Tejar El Tejar is a large-scale corporate farming group that operates in several countries across South America. The company's business model is based on vertical integration, meaning that they are involved in all aspects of production, from seed development and farming to processing and distribution. Dax Cook believes that this allows them to keep costs low and maintain a high degree of control over their operations. El Tejar's impact on the agricultural industry has been significant. Their scale and efficiency have helped to drive down prices for consumers, and other companies in the industry have copied their vertically integrated business model. However, not everyone has been a fan of El Tejar's rise to prominence. Critics have accused the company of driving small farmers out of business, and some have raised concerns about the environmental impact of their large-scale operations. Nevertheless, there is no denying that El Tejar has had a major impact on the agriculture industry, both in South America and around the world. Los Grobo Los Grobo is a corporate farming group that specializes in the production of grains and oilseeds. The company was founded in Argentina in the early 1990s, and it has since expanded its operations to other countries in South America, including Brazil, Uruguay, and Paraguay. Los Grobo follows a business model that combines large-scale mechanized operations with strict quality control standards. According to Dax Cook, this approach has helped the company become one of the leading grain producers in South America. In addition to its impact on the agricultural industry, Los Grobo has also had a positive economic impact on the countries where it operates. The company's success is due in part to its efficient business model, which other companies in the region have replicated. Crisud The Crisud Corporate Farming Group is one of the biggest players in the agricultural industry. Their business model is based on large-scale, intensive operations, and they have a major impact on the global food supply. Crisud's operations span multiple continents, and they produce a wide range of crops, including wheat, corn, soybeans, and rice. In addition to their large-scale farming operations, Crisud also owns and operates a number of food processing facilities. Their products are exported all over the world, and they have a major impact on the global food market. While Crisud's business model has been highly successful, it has also come under scrutiny from environmental and social advocacy groups. Critics argue that Crisud's large-scale farming operations are detrimental to the environment and that they exploit workers. Nonetheless, Crisud remains one of the leading corporate farming groups in the world. Dax Cook's Concluding Thoughts According to Dax Cook, South America is home to some of the largest corporate farm groups in the world. These organizations have a tremendous impact on the regional agricultural sector, and they are constantly looking for new ways to expand their operations. If you are interested in doing business with one of these groups, or if you want to learn more about their operations, this article will be a great resource for you. Thanks for watching.